the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, has been visited by numerous spacecraft in recent decades, all of which have returned with fresh, improved images of the amazing gas giant and new, fascinating discoveries. However, Jupiter has never been more visible thanks to research being done by NASA's Juno probe. Reaching a closer range than any other spacecraft and taking pictures of breathtaking vistas that border on the artistic. This is the closest we have ever seen the king of the planets in our solar system. You're watching V101 Space. Hello and welcome to Z, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. After an exhausting 5 years and 2.8 billion kilometers, 1.7 billion miles, of travel, Juno finally reached Jupiter in July 2016 and settled into a polar orbit that brings it just over the planet's clouds. More than 3 terabits of scientific data were gathered by Juno during its primary mission, and it is still in the process of finishing an extended mission that will hopefully last until September 2025. A demonstration of Juno's excellent design and construction. Its stay on Jupiter, however, has not been easy. Although the gas giant appears to the unaided eye to be a peaceful, striped orb floating in space, this planet is anything but. Because of its tremendous radiation, which is the harshest in the solar system aside from the Sun, which bombards Juno every time it swoops around the planet and passes within a few thousand kilometers of the cloud tops, it presents a very challenging environment to study. However, by constructing Juno like an armored tank, Scientists and engineers were able to endure Jupiter's harsh atmosphere and prevent the probe's vital electronics from burning up as it traveled through the radiation zones. And because it is capable of making such a long journey, traveling up to 5,000 kilometers, or 3,100 miles, it has performed 56 close orbits, giving us unprecedented access to view the gas giant. The thick atmosphere of Jupiter is divided into zones and belts, which are further divided by erratic jet streams along the boundaries between the zones. This results in wildly colorful cloud regions that are chaotic but nevertheless stunning. Upon closer inspection, these regions reveal intricate swirls along with sporadic bursts of bright white pop-up clouds, some of which are clearly casting shadows on the neighboring cloud layers beneath them. It's interesting to note that scientists may use these shadows to measure the separations between cloud layers in Jupiter's atmosphere, which can reveal information on the composition and formation of the clouds. More high-altitude cloud formations encircled by swirling patterns in Jupiter's north-north temperate belt region are shown in this amazing image. The depth of these bands has long been a mystery to scientists, but now they know thanks to Juno's gravity measurements made during its near flybys. It was found that these bands of flowing atmosphere extend down to a depth of around 3,000 kilometers, 1,864 miles on the globe. Additionally, you can observe ferocious revolving vortexes and ferocious storms of dense gas whirling around at extremely high speeds strewn across the belts and zones. However, these storms on Jupiter are considerably different from those we observe on Earth. On Earth, large hurricanes and cyclones are concentrated in low-pressure areas. But on Jupiter, the strongest storms are anti-cyclone, high-pressure systems. Large storms on Earth can linger for weeks, while they can linger for years on Jupiter. Huge storms can be as big as a country on Earth, but they can be as big as a planet on Jupiter. A massive white oval can be seen swirling in this amazing photo, while countless smaller cloud swirls can be seen extending into the distance. The lighter colored clouds appear higher in the atmosphere than the darker colored ones, giving the impression that the storm is passing through the atmosphere and leaving a beautiful pattern of mayhem in its wake. Two of Jupiter's massive revolving storms are visible in this up-close photo, which also shows atmospheric elements as small as 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles, in size. Once more, the lower storm is topped with brilliant pop-up clouds that cast dark shadows on the clouds deep bank below. Naturally, though, these storms pale in comparison to the greatest feature on the gas giant, the well-known Great Red Spot. For almost a century, stargazers have been enthralled with this 16,000-kilometer, 10,000-mile, broad show. Although the exact cause of its intense red color is unknown, one theory is that UV radiation may have altered the chemistry of the clouds. Deeper swirls revolving counterclockwise encircle the core of this massive storm, which is also the reddest region. At the center of the storm are the tallest clouds. The wind howls at 430 to 680 kilometers per hour, 270 to 422 miles per hour, 
farther out from the storm center, where conditions are at their calmest and wind speeds are practically zero. You might spot an odd series of tiny vertical lines at the top of the storm, just where the red begins to turn white. These are gravity waves, which resemble the waves on a beach when a fluid or gas is disturbed and gravity pulls it back into a flat, balanced state. The seemingly black portions in the picture are actually not black. They differ slightly from everything else in terms of color. The areas that appear to be the darkest are probably deeper clouds, which Juno has shown can go hundreds of kilometers below the surface of the clouds. Similar to storms on Earth, massive lightning bolts can also happen over Jupiter, albeit they are never recorded in the Great Red Spot. This amazing Juno photo displays a vortex close to Jupiter's North Pole along with a green flash in the center that is the light from a lightning strike. Lightning happens predominantly at lower altitudes on Earth and is caused by water vapor clouds that accumulate static charge. Because ammonia is present in the clouds on Jupiter in addition to water, lightning can develop at considerably higher altitudes. Nonetheless, the poles of Jupiter, where several storms circle one another, are among the planet's most turbulent areas. In the vicinity of the North Pole, this image shows numerous strong storms, each spanning thousands of kilometers. Understanding how they formed is regarded to be essential to comprehending not just the various atmospheric aspects of Jupiter, but also the fluid dynamics and cloud chemistry that give rise to it. The different sizes, forms, and colors of the vortices are of special interest to scientists. A pattern of storms that would dwarf the entire Earth is created by the massive, persistent cyclone in the image's center, which is surrounded by smaller cyclones. However, strange patterns and shapes don't only emerge near the North and South Poles. This photograph, which appears to be a ghostly visage drifting through the ether, was taken by Juno. The Terminator line, which separates the planet's day and night sides, is depicted in the image as being rippling with storms and tumultuous clouds. It is evidently not a face, but rather the result of pareidolia, a condition in which people see faces or other recognizable shapes in mainly arbitrary patterns. Another illustration of this was this peculiar dolphin shape, which is clearly not a dolphin at all, but rather a demonstration of how dynamic Jupiter's clouds are due to their rapid shifting and ability to momentarily imitate a variety of well-known shapes. In addition to advancing scientific understanding, the fascinating photos taken by Juno have sparked people's imaginations all throughout the world. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and these pictures invite us to wonder at its breathtaking beauty, from the captivating swirls of its clouds to the mysterious Great Red Spot. Space exploration has motivated humanity for decades, much like the discovery of Uranus. This has resulted in numerous intriguing innovations, some of which we can even possess, like Novium's hover pin, the company behind today's video. The interstellar version hover pin was chosen by time to be one of the greatest inventions of 2022. An exceptional pin that is high-end, inventive, and ideal for fans of space like us. It pays homage to science and space with a plethora of amazing features. Like the hover pin, which seems to float effortlessly in its custom-made magnetic dock while defying gravity. It is constructed of aircraft-grade aluminum and defies gravity at an angle of 23.5 degrees, which corresponds to the tilt of the Earth's axis. All you have to do is set this pin spinning in its dock, position it on your desk, and observe as it gracefully revolves as though it were floating freely in space. I've been using mine for a few weeks now, and I really enjoy it. It feels well-balanced, is cozy to hold, and works well for writing. As you can see, I ordered mine in space black, but it is also available in Neptune Blue, Mars Magma, and Starlight Silver. Upgrades to the Premium Edition are also available. This version features an actual meteorite shard inserted in the hover pin and is coated in 18K gold, fostering a deeper connection between you and the wonders of our solar system. Novium also sells the next generation, a dual-purpose pin that can be used as a rollerball and fountain pin and has a replaceable tip. An excellent choice for those seeking a more opulent and expressive writing experience. Thus, if you're searching for a classic, space-inspired gift for yourself or a loved one, click the link in the description to receive 10% off of all hover pins and free shipping to anywhere in the world when you use my code V101. I sincerely hope you found this video entertaining. If so, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.